Hello there, my name is Mrs. Jenkins. Let's take a look together today at factoring polynomials. Now what are you doing when you factor a polynomial? Remember, factoring a polynomial is kind of the opposite of multiplying it. You're going to take apart the polynomial, and you're going to give the parts or the factors that would multiply together to equal that polynomial. So you're breaking it apart. And you can factor binomials, and you'll factor them oftentimes differently than you would factor a polynomial. A polynomial, that's four terms or more. And you'll factor that a little bit differently oftentimes than you would factor a trinomial. But I want to look with you at factoring a trinomial. These are often the most common forms of factoring. These are polynomials with three terms. And we're going to look more specifically at factoring trinomials when they have a leading coefficient of 1. If we take a look here at this trinomial, this polynomial of three terms, the leading coefficient here is 1. So there's a method that we can use in factoring these trinomials. What you want to do is, and I often like to start off by writing my parentheses here. I know I'm going to be factoring this if it factors into two binomials. And I know that the factors of x squared are simply going to break down into x and x, because x times x gives me x squared. But a couple of things that I'll want to look at when doing this factoring are these. I want to look at the signs. If the last sign of my polynomial here is positive, as it is here, that means my factors will have the same sign. If it were to have been negative, that means that my factors will have different signs. Here, my last sign is positive, so that means in my factors, they're both going to be the same. In fact, they're both going to be positive. So I know I have x plus something and x plus something else. Now I need to fill in those two blanks. I do that by looking at this second aspect. I want to find the factors of my constant. My constant here is 8. Well, what are the factors of 8? 8 and 1 or 4 and 2? Now, I have two possibilities here, but I want the factors of the constant that are going to add up to equal my middle coefficient. How am I going to get these to add up and equal 6? Well, that'll happen if I use 4 and 2. So my factors here are going to be x plus 4 and x plus 2. If I multiply that together, I'll get x squared plus 6x plus 8. Now, try to look closely and remember the signs and the factors and work through this second example. Here, we are going to factor this. The leading coefficient is 1, so we're going to have x and x again. But notice, my signs are going to be different. Take a minute to see if you can work through factoring this trinomial. Work on it, and when you've gotten it, click Continue at the bottom of the screen. My signs are different here, so one's going to be a plus and one's going to be a minus. The factors of 5 are simply 5 and 1. But I want to put them in such a way that I'm going to end up with a positive 4. The only way I'll end up with a positive 4 is if I have positive 5 and negative 1. So I have a positive 5 and a negative 1 here. These will be my factors. If I multiply them together, I'll end up with this trinomial. You did good work on those examples, and if you need any more help in working on your algebra homework, particularly factoring, sign up for Nutshell Math. I hope to see you there.